Hi, uh, in this video, I'll explain you how to access our SVAT lab from your remote location. So you have to uh, share your email ID with us to access our lab. So uh, from our organization, Joho account, we will send you an invite. So you will receive an email like this. Once I confirm that I have sent an invite to you, you will receive an email with the subject, open it. You need to accept the invitation click on accept then you will be requested to enter your details so enter the same details that you have shared with us like email id should be exactly the same that you have shared with us and then password you can enter at your your choice and select the agreement click on sign up okay so you need to click on continue then click on join to join into our uh, organization as a technician. Now click on access Joho Assist. You can skip the introduction. Now you are landed on our organization, unattended access. Click on unattended access here. You can see multiple machines are available here, out of which which are showing green are powered on and available for you. Now, if you see here, there is an option, join and connect. If it is join, somebody already joined into this machine from Joko, like you, somebody join and using it. Okay, let's say if, you, if it is your friend, you can click on join and both you can speak and work on the lab. Another one, if you want to have a separate machine to practice, there is an option connect and it is online, right? So click on connect, you will get an separate machine to practice which is in free nobody is using it so it will ask you to verify your account so go to your email back you would have received an email to confirm your account click on confirm your account verify access account that is it, it will show you uh, the invitation link has expired that's fine that's our regular behavior now you go back to your joho account here here you can see connect click on connect you will connect to one of our lab pc now from here i'll be sharing all these passwords to access this is one of our lab machine so you will be logged into our lab machine nobody will be using this machine if you are using it Now this machine is completely available for you until you finish your lab. We just powered it on. It takes a while to load the all Windows operating system. Just close all this unnecessary widgets. So click, oh, close this server wizard. So open Google Chrome. Once you open the Chrome, we have bookmarked the lab. Uh, we center information, yes, it's a host information. Click on vCenter. Otherwise, if you have the name of the vCenter or vCenter IP, you can enter here. Otherwise, just click this bookmark. It will ask you to click on proceed. So here you need to enter the username and password. So for you, we will be providing a new username. Use your own user ID and password. To log into vCenter, you need to ask us. Uh, we will create a user account and password for you. You can use that username and password to log into this vCenter. Okay. 
now we are connected to we center just loading up wait for it now now you have you are connected to our lab from your home okay via jobo now you can work on our esxi host vms whatever the lab that you want to practice from here you can practice okay so if you have a good internet there will be no delay it will work as fast as you sit in our lab also it will be the same so no difference at all thank you